professional doesn't want to commit himself all at once to a pot. In other words, he doesn't want a decision that either doubles his money up or knocks him out of the tournament. So players develop a concept called small ball. And Dan looks down at ace three and checks. He does not raise. They decide to try to play a lot of small hands. And the flop comes ace, eight, five. Dan has flopped top pair. They think that their skill factor over that long haul will give them a better chance to do well in the tournament. And with that pot, Dan Harrington takes the chip lead. Amateurs, if they play a lot of small hands against a better player, they're going to suffer and would probably be better served using the strategy where they try to double up against a better player. If you want to learn how to play well, you should be trying to play small ball against the good players so you eventually learn how to become a good player yourself. For more great poker tips, log on to worldpokertour.com.